Hello and welcome back to the Coders Legacy channel. In this video, we'll explore how to host and set up a static website on AWS. The AWS service that we'll be using is known as Amazon S3. You can search and go to the service by typing S3 in the search bar of your AWS console. Click on S3 over here and it'll bring us to the S3 management console. Click on create a bucket. A bucket is basically a storage location. It's a terminology for S3. All right, containers for data stored in S3. Then you just pick the region that you want to use. Okay, then we pick a bucket name. I'll, and this must be something unique. Okay, globally unique across the globe. I'm gonna go with my website name, Coders Legacy. Now here, if you have existing buckets, so you can like import settings. I have an existing bucket here, so I could import the settings, but I'm gonna do this from scratch, so I won't. So over here, um, this is what this is what we're gonna turn off. Because by default, uh, these buckets are private. No one can access them publicly across the internet. But since we're using this bucket to host a website, we want public users to be able to come to our website. At least in 99% of the cases we do. So just turn that off and click this acknowledgement that yes, you acknowledge that people will be able to access the contents of this bucket. All right. So, and don't worry, this is just like access, okay? They can't modify anything, don't worry about that. So then there's bucket versioning. You could enable that if you want to, uh, that, that's up to you. It's basically like when you make a modification to your files in the bucket, then it's gonna track the versions. So now that our bucket's created, we can click on it, and then we begin uploading our web website files. So we can do add files over here and this is a sample website that we have okay so just take all these and upload them over here then we add the folders one by one and make sure you add add everything in you know like the same style that i am right now like keep everything in the root folder all right keep the index.html file any other html files like error.html keep them all in the root folder Otherwise, there's going to be problems, okay? Because, uh, but the folders, like images and assets, those are fine. You can keep those as folders and you can upload them. Uh, but don't do something like, for example, um, don't upload this folder, okay? The, the parent folder. That's going to cause issues. So try and structure your application that way. Now, once we do that, we can just click on upload and this will take some time. So I'll skip ahead. All right, so everything's uploaded. Now what we can do is just close. And now what we'll do is go on properties of our bucket. Okay, we're on our bucket. So go on properties, scroll to the very bottom, then go on static website hosting and enable it. Okay, now it's gonna ask you for your index.html file. So just, so just type that. Then we also had an error.html. So we'll put that over here, error.html. And again, make sure they're in the root folders because there's been a lot of issues with, like if you try and do something like this, for example, it's not gonna pick it up. And that just causes a lot of problems. So just make sure everything's in the root folder. Then click on save changes. So now if you scroll at the bottom, there should be this URL over here, which you can click. And if everything is okay, but no, it's 403 forbidden because there's one thing left that we have to do, go to permissions. And here in bucket policy, we're gonna do edit, okay? Then add a new statement. And there are actually multiple ways of doing this. I'm just picking the policy approach. There's another way of doing it, but I prefer this one. So just click on S3, select S3, then do get object. Okay, because we need to kind of like define who's allowed to access this object. So then we'll just give this a name, like public read object. Then in principle, principle basically decides who gets to access the, the contents of this bucket. Okay, so I'm going to do an asterisk over here. This can normally be something like a list. Then you can have a list of user IDs in here. Um, those, it's called Amazon 
uh, IAM, the user management and stuff. So you can actually take people's uh, IDs and then like have a list of users who are allowed to access the items in this bucket. But since we want to do this uh, publicly, like everyone can access it, we're just going to leave this as an asterisk. So er anyone and everyone across the internet can access it. So action is get object. It's bas just basic access. They can't modify it or anything. Don't worry. So in resource, we're going to mention what kind of resource are they being allowed to access. So to do this, just copy the bucket ARN over here, then paste it over here, then make sure to add a slash and then an asterisk over here. This means that they're allowed to access the contents of this bucket. Okay, The asterisk is because we want them to be able to access all of the contents in the bucket, all of the images, the uh, HTML files, etc., CSS. So once that's, once that's done, let me just double check that. Everything looks good. Just do save changes. Then if I go back to properties, scroll to the bottom and try, or let's just refresh this actually. So as you can see, it has loaded. Okay. And if I just click on these, we can navigate the website. I can also trigger the error page in the URL over here. So I'll just type in something a uh, page that does not exist, page that does not exist. So it's going to trigger that error page. It's going to probably try and find it a bit, and then it'll give us this 404 page. All right. So this is basically how you can host a static website on AWS. Pretty easy, um, convenient, and it only charges you when someone actually accesses the website doesn't charge you normally. So that's pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this video.